Retiring Samoa star Perolini Militalo guided her side to a three-wicket win against Japan on the final day of the tournament. Japan batted first and got off to a solid start thanks to 27 runs from Shizuka Miyagi. But five runouts restricted Japan's chances of posting a big total as Samoa kept the pressure on right throughout the innings. Etsuko Kobayashi rallied the lower order with 25 to guide Japan to 8 for 135. Lani Otila Talea got Samoa's chase off to a strong start, scoring 49 before she was brilliantly caught by Rio Endo to bring Japan right back into the game. Japan's spinners struck in the middle overs as Samoa stumbled to 7 for 123. But Mulatalo, in her final match for Samoa, hit a quick fire 15 not out to seal a fairy tale finish. So it was going to be close. I think the fact that they, you know, they uh, they batted their 50 overs to start with, it was always it just had that vibe about it. It was going to be a close game and go the go the distance. So it was up and down, and we just got there in the end. They were they were really intent at the start, and I, you know we were pretty good in the end too. Yeah, it would have been nice to come away with the win, but uh, the, the girls did well with the bat. They held in there and uh, a couple of good partnerships, which is what we're working on. So it's good to see that they're focusing on some team goals, and hopefully the results will come in, in future tournaments. In a 35-over match, Papua New Guinea secured a one-run win against Cricket Without Borders. Brenda Tao smashed 76 to lead the Lewis to a total of 5 for 164. Cricket Without Borders looked to have the run chase covered, but a five-wicket haul from Pauki Siaka ensured PNG maintained their perfect record.